welcome to my youtube channel today so today i'm going to sharing with you my four different chanel mini handbags so as you can see i do have uh, four different colors of chanel mini so i'm going to introduce you each bag and then i'm gonna compare them since i do have a uh, different colors for also different materials and then different hardware colors and then also the sizes are a little different this one is a little bit bigger than the other mini and then as you can see it has a four different four garments which is a different from like this one it has a two different garment that's the typical chanel mini but this is a little unique okay so this is my first purchase chanel mini um and then i if you have watched my entire channel handbag you might have seen this one because i introduced this um so this is a lamb skin with a purple weighted letter so i'm not sure if you can see well but it has a little and tiny hole in higher of the bag uh, and then the hardware color is a uh, light gold so the color of the bag is a little bit of beige and then shiny gold so i really think that it has a really good match with the hardware and then the bag color so as you know, maybe you may already know well, like it has a back pocket like this. So I usually carry maybe my, I don't know, maybe one of my credit card right here. Um, maybe my ID, maybe, or maybe just piece of paper so you don't have to open the bag if you really need to get something from outside of the bag. That's what I do. And then uh, if you can see inside of the bag, it's like the space. So it has a one big space right here and then there is a zip pocket inside like this so it's not really big in terms of the space or the size but you know what I can carry my phone for sure my lipstick my powder and then um, some kind of cosmetic if it's not really big size right so um, I usually carry this one if I wanna just go out um, and then if I wear a really light outfit, usually in summer, um, I prefer to wear this one because it has a really, really, um, good color that I can wear maybe almost all my, almost my, um, other outfits. So this is my most used Chanel mini handbag in terms of the mini sizes. Um, so it has been, I think I purchased this one 2015. So it has been more than five years, almost five years, and then this is one of my most used Chanel Mini. So I actually little have a little like sign of use at the corner since it doesn't have any fits at the bottom. And then it's a lambskin as I told you, so it's not really durable. So I do have some sign of signs of wear and then because it has a really light color as well. But I don't want to sell this one maybe ever it's quite unique to me uh, and then um, I do have a lot of story maybe with this book this bag right so I really love this one and then the second one is this one so this is also included in my Ch Chanel entire handbag but those two ladies those two little uh, bags I don't have it so you want to watch at the end of the video so this is my uh, second chanel mini handbag and then this is a python letter so it has all the different like style where the letter outside of the bag but also in the in entire of the bag it's the fire bag uh, it's the bag but also in the bottom as well so it's pretty much similar like the back pocket right here and then the sh uh, maybe the space inside is very similar it's all pink inside as you can see but the hardware for this one is a little bit different from this. This is, I would say, this is a little light gold hardware, but this is more like a true gold to me. A little bit darker if I really have to compare between two. I already mentioned this, the strap for this bag. Maybe this is one of my reasons to purchase this one at the time. So as you can see, it has a four charms in the strap. So actually those four charms make the bag a little bit heavier I, I can see actually so as you can see there are two heart shape of the charms and then this is a ladybird very cute <laughs> and then this is a flower the rose 
it's very chewy. And then there is a little tiny Chanel CC. Do you see? <laughs> so actually, um, I really thought, oh my god, this is so unique. And it was quite pricey because of the Python letter. But it's not really, really durable. I thought that this was, this is going to be very durable. But maybe this is a pink color. I don't know. So, I mean, I did have a little dark shade right here. And then a little bit of corner as well. But I don't think I carry this bag a lot of time. Because it's just very... Maybe, maybe sometimes it's just too much in terms of the color but also in terms of the material yeah but i'm really happy to have this one and then maybe you may also realize that i'm gonna show you show you the side of the bags so since this is a lambskin it's a little bit squash you know what i'm talking about it's a little bit squash but this is a python and then the leather is very very structured you may feel that it's very structured so i really think that the structure may not lose may not be loose maybe I don't know maybe uh, and then for the ears for purchase of the year for this bag I purchased this one 2016 so it has been four years for now right um when I don't have any like structure loose any maybe of this bag so that's one of the things that I can compare between lambskin and python and then I do have a caviar actually, so I will just bear with me. I will talk about that one later. And then this is my third Chanel uh, mini. So as you can see, this one is a little bit different. So if I have to compare between two, the most big difference is, of course, the size. Do you see? This one is a little bit higher if I really compare between two. A little bit higher, but in terms of the width, width it's almost the same, but a little bit little bit wider maybe yeah so another difference between the two is um it has two garment right this is a classic chanel mini which has a two garments only and usually many people wear this one as a crossbody because um you can wear it as a um, shoulder bag just in, in your own shoulder it's pretty long right so usually many people prefer to wear it as a crossbody i always wear it crossbody but for this one, since it has a four garment, I can wear it as a two lines of shoulder bag, like two straps of shoulder bag. So you can wear it a little bit shorter, shorter, um, but also I can wear it as a one strap as a shoulder bag. So it's very similar to the classic medium and large or classic jumbo size. You don't want to wear it as a crossbody for medium and then jumbo size. So this is very similar. Uh, and then another difference that you can see for sure is it has a um, little I'm not sure how I can call them but it has a little point at the bottom of the two sides and it's more like a metal I think and then you know what one of my friends told me that oh my god it's like ice cream cone or maybe waffle cone something like that so it has a little shade actually a little bit cracked but I really like this one it's a, it, it, this kind of things kind of make the bag unique compared to just classic from my opinion so that's why I purchased this one this is another lambskin but this is a purple weighted lambskin but this is just regular lambskin and then the color actually the description from Chanel it says pink but to me it's almost like between beige and pink so sometimes I can see more beige shade but sometimes like I can see more pink color shade so maybe depending on the bag or outfit that you have so compared to this pink one definitely it looks like more beige to me but if you really compare it with a more like beige color it's almost like a, a little pink to me so um, this is one of my favorite color I really love pink color as you may see from my entire Chanel collection I do have a lot of pink bags but I prefer a little bit light color of pink more like peach pink or beige pink so i really like this color yeah and then um the bag actually has the same bag pocket and then the bottom is almost the same but as i mentioned the color is a little bit bigger so i can put a little more maybe yeah but pretty much it's a similar and then by the way um if you wonder about uh i purchased this one in 2016 i think 
maybe between 16 and 17. It was a winter, but I do not remember exact year. But I really think that they released this bag in 2016 since my, um, the serial number in the bag says 25. Starts with, sorry, starts with 24. This is for 25, yeah. So, um, I'm not really sure whether they make this kind of bags for me every year or every season, but it's not really often that I can see the Chanel boutique. So I'm really happy with this one. So that's my third one. And then I have the last one. Okay, so this is my last, but not least for sure, <laughs> my Chanel mini in the bag. So this is caviar letter uh, with light gold champagne hardware and then maybe most of you know that the channel does not release uh, the caviar letter for mini anymore maybe not anymore maybe not forever but they haven't released for i know that for two years maybe almost for three years um so i know that lots of ladies they are looking for the caviar letter because we know that it's more durable uh, and then um, just we want to have the caviar for mini, right? But they just don't make it anymore, maybe. So I was really happy to have this one in my collection. And then maybe I'm not going to sell this one. I don't know. But I already really love the color. It's And then actually, you know what? I forgot. This is iridescent. It's an iridescent light blue color. So if I wear this one the outside, once it has a sun, uh, the color actually changed to a little bit lighter um, but if I actually see this bag in my room or maybe inside of the maybe room or house it actually tells me a little bit darker color so what I see right now is a little bit of dark color so maybe you kind of think that this is not really sky blue but almost like blue or cobalt blue I would say but if I actually wear this bag outside it actually become a little bit lighter almost like sky blue so i really like its versatility maybe in terms of the color and then also i really think that this is a really good bag for summer i really prefer to wear like white t-shirts and then the jeans and then this is really really good to bag good to go back so um but i think i kind of mentioned to you by comparing the lambskin and then caviar and then the caviar is more durable so i'm gonna actually share with you one more so as you can see these two are lambskin so do you see it? a little bit of wrinkle in the side and then the structures are a little bit loosened maybe a little bit yeah do you see some wrinkles and then they are not really structured maybe since i wear them for several years so far and then very similar to this size as well like this a little bit of wrinkles and then the structures are a little bit loosened but for caviar for sure it's very very structured for the size oh, okay so um i already told you that the python actually it's my opinion <laughs> maybe from my um, own experiences while i was wearing them for several years the python was more durable than those two lambskin but if i am actually thinking about the caviar letter like this this is the most durable bag even more than the python um, so i think i paid two thousand dollars more for this than the other three um, so that's why i told you that this is not that much durable as i kind of thought about um, that's what i kind of realized so if you are really thinking about chanel mini usually like the chanel mini size that's more like the casual bag compared to the medium and large or even jumbo um, so that's why I really prefer to have the caviar. So as I told you, I'm really glad to have this one in my collection. So um, what I actually told you about is lambskin, and then this is a caviar, right? So I'm not sure if you can see well, but this bag is so much structured than this. And then also if you can see the side of the bag, you know what, let me share with you like this. So these two are the lambskin, and then do you see some wrinkles in the side even, right? And then um, the structure is also structure has been losing a little bit right and then maybe I can share with you this side as well so do you see some wrinkles right here and then the structure is a little bit losing yeah right if you can see from the side for this and then this but the caviar and then the 
um, the Python. Those two are very, very structured. So um, this one I purchased in 2000, um, 2016. No, actually this is 2017 and then this one is 2016. Yeah, so uh, since I have been using this one for, for, for two years maybe, uh, but I do not have any corner wear or signs of the wear around the bed. I really think that this is because of the caviar leather, which is so much durable than those two lambskins. Um, but I really love those two colors more. It has more versatility if you're really thinking about your outfits. And then also, um, sometimes I have to be really think about those two bags uh, when I choose my outfits. Sometimes the pink can be really difficult to wear your outfit. And then the blue one is the same from my, to my opinion. So that's why I reach those two more often. But then as I mentioned that those two are the lambskins. So that's why I have more signs of wear and the structural illusion, etc. So those are for my Chanel mini handbags. And then I really think that they are quite diverse in terms of the color, but also in terms of the material. And then, yeah. Yeah, pretty much about it so that's why I, that's why I want to share with you and then I really hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions for each bag or maybe I don't know I, I am going to include and then I already included the mode chart how it looks for me when I wear them um, depending on my different outfit so I want you to maybe ask me if you have any question about those four bags and if you are interested in any of them, I don't know, maybe I'm gonna sell one of them, maybe. Sometimes I really feel like, oh my god, I have four Chanel Mini. Um, so maybe I'm kind of thinking about selling one, but you know what, it's so hard, I cannot decide. I love this, love this, love this, and then love this. <laughs> so I really hope you enjoy them, um, you, you enjoyed my video, and then I will also share with you my another comparison video for my medium and large maybe jumbo and then maybe another different channel handbags um thank you so much for watching today uh and then please provide me please give me thumbs up if you like it and then also please subscribe for more videos and then i will try to upload more something fun something engaging for you thank you everyone Bye.